Hey guys, I'm back again with a really short video on a solution to fix a nagging problem that has been annoying me with the Blipbox ever since I got it a couple of years ago. Full disclosure, I wasn't the one who worked out the fix, but full credit goes to Dave Plonker from the Amiga Tech Tips and Repairs Group on Facebook, who also had the same issue and was able to find a solution with a little help from a long lost post on Amy Bay from 2017 from a user called SM1WZV who hasn't posted anything since 2021. So whoever and wherever you are, a big thanks from me, Dave and everyone else with the same problem. The problem was basically that the plip box wouldn't function if you pressed Control and Media Amiga to reset the computer and tried running the TCP IP stack again. The software, whether it was Miami or Roadshow, would just sit there not detecting the blip box and eventually time out. The only way to fix the problem was to completely shut down the computer and the blip box from the mains power to get them to fully reset and then it would function normally. After trying various things like pressing the Arduino reset button several times, upgrading the firmware from version 5 to 6, uh, upgrading various settings in the TCP IP stack of Miami and Roadshow, it turns out the solution was quite actually really easy to fix. As you can see from the pics, the Blipbox uses an Arduino module that requires an external 5 volt power supply, which would normally come from a 5 volt adapter like a regular phone charger, as the parallel port doesn't have provide 5 volts from any of its pins on the DB25 connector. In my case, I rigged up a USB port on the back of my Amiga 2000, which taps 5 volts from the power cable going to one of the floppy drives, so that when I turn the computer on and off, it also turns the power on and off to the blip box. Otherwise, I'd have to manually disconnect the blip box from the mains power, as if I was using an external power supply. On the blip box, you'll notice the third pin labelled Reset. The Amiga's parallel port also has a reset pin, which is pin 16, and gets triggered each time the Amiga is rebooted with either a cold or a control Amiga Amiga press on the keyboard. The solution was just a matter of connecting a short wire between these two pins. Stop resetting the Amiga now triggers the Arduino to reset as well, so no more need to power the computer down completely or manually reset the blip box. Now I'll show you a demonstration of it in action. First I'll power on the computer from the PowerPoint so that it performs a cold start. I open the TCP IP stack and you'll see the blip box initialize, connect to the internet and then check for any caffeine updates. Now I'll restart the machine using the reboot option from the menu and select soft reboot. Once the computer restarts, I'll again click on the TCP IP stack and you can see it connects to the internet as before, just like the cold start. This time I'll restart the machine again from the reboot option from the menu and select hard reboot. Once again the computer reboots and clicking on the TCP IP stack it also connects the first time. So there you have it, a simple solution for a problem that's been annoying me for nearly two years. I hope you've enjoyed this video once again and huge thanks to Dave Plonker for finding this solution. If you like this video please hit the subscribe button down below and I hope to see you again real soon.